Hi, I'm Kara Mariano, and I'm here today to talk to you about your precision base plate. The precision base plate was designed to help you cut out your intricate thin lit dies. It's made from an extremely hard metal, so it helps not only cut with paper, but a variety of different materials. You can cut things like burlap, craft metal, thin suede, even thin cork. The precision base plate works with all of our machines, with the exception of our Big Shot Plus. The Big Shot Plus already has enough pressure that you don't need the aid of a precision base plate to cut your intricate dies. What I'd like to do is show you how to use it, but first I wanna let you know that we don't recommend using the precision base plate with your framelits, your triplets, or your steel rule dies. It will damage your dies and it will also damage your pads. So today we're gonna to use our precision base plate with our extended multi-purpose platform. You're gonna use it on tab number two, on the top tab, and if you get um, confused about what sandwich you're supposed to make, there's also an illustration on the front of the precision base plate for reference. So we're gonna put that on the top tab and place that in your machine. And you're gonna add your paper and your die, and then you're gonna add your top cutting pad. And you're gonna roll that through your machine. Now you're gonna transfer your intricate die over to our die brush and foam pad, and this will help get out all the little intricate pieces that come with your die. As you can see, here's a perfectly cut intricate die. A couple of things we wanna remind you about the precision base plate is that it's not intended to replace your regular cutting pads. It's designed to use with your intricate thinlet dies only. We also recommend that once you start using your thinlet die on a precision base plate, that you continue to use it on a precision base plate. Because if you try to go back to cutting it with regular cutting pads, you're probably gonna have a much more difficult time cutting it. The precision base plate increases the pressure on your cutting pads, so there's a right way and a wrong way to use this to extend the life of your cutting pads. We're gonna show you an example of what not to do. If you put your intricate die in the same place every time on the cutting pad, you're gonna see that you eventually get this kind of bowl shape in your cutting pad. That's what we don't want to do. The right way would be to use your cutting pad and move your die around the cutting pad and actually flip it over and use the other side. That'll extend the life of your cutting pad and help with the cutting process. I hope that this information has helped clarify how to use your precision base plate and we look forward to seeing all of your creative designs.